everyone, it's Sam from Technique Tuesday. Today I would like to introduce you to our In Bloom kit. Now, what I love about this kit is that it is a complete technique based kit. So what you're going to see in your kit are color copies of some sample flowers that you'll be able to make in this kit. And then we're gonna make a flower. So first thing I like to do is pull all my contents out. So I have perfect color copy instruction and I have lots of cool materials including a stamp set, a really busy piece of paper that you probably can't tell is kiss cut with cut out flowers. Then I have some crepe paper, some ribbon, some paper flowers. I have a tile set of buttons. I have a piece of vellum for the stained glass technique. I also have the Petite Posy stamp, which this is such a fun stamp set. It's very versatile and easy to work on cards for other projects. And of course, my favorite would probably be the two different sized polka dot stamps. This particular kit has these cards that you take the, the contents of your kit and you actually make each flower and adhere them to the cards. So what it ends up looking like is a ringed miniature idea book. And it is so helpful when you are in creative mode and referring to you know, something you just tried in your kit and it's gonna look great on a card or a layout and you have a reference. So that is super, super cool. And I have more samples. We did a lot of playing around before we started uh, making this kit and we have fun things for you to try in here. So this is something if you've never tried, it's a really great kit to get your feet wet on some, you know, maybe heavy duty techniques that you've just never tried before. So this is the flower that we're going to make right here. And all you need to get out is your, your felt, your pink felt. And I just chose a felt pen so what I'm gonna do, I've actually read my instructions and it told me to take my pen and create a square spiral. So I'm just going to take my pen and draw my spiral. Then I'm gonna get my scissors out. And in the instructions it said to start from the outside and cut my way in. In your instructions, it probably didn't say this, but use a really, really good sharp pair of scissors. Once you get towards the center, you need to actually pay attention to how far in you cut. So right about here, I'm gonna slow it down and remember that at the center, I am creating a bit of a home base. So I'm not going to cut all the way in and off I'm going to make sure I cut really shallow right there. So once you have your, your felt spiral cut out, what you wanna do is turn it and start rolling. And I'm gonna start rolling and just keep going, keep going. And you're gonna see why we cut the edges square here just in a second. It's gonna make all the difference. Every time you turn a corner, it just makes more sense. And you wrap that around. And because it's felt, it is a little awkward in your hand. But since we're trying a new technique, that's okay. It might take you a couple times. Then when you get to the base, you'll see that because we left this sort of large with the half inch around, I'm gonna take a little bit of glue. And I suggest you use a zip dry or something like it, something that's going to adhere the fabric together. So this is my landing pad. I'm going to just put my flower on. How would you use this flower? Let me show you. We made this beautiful border that you can stick this on and put this on a layout or you can put this on a frame in your home or maybe just a beautiful card and putting a few small felt flowers right around. Now you can make these with paper, you can make them with ribbon and they are a great addition to any project. Go to TechniqueTuesday.com and you'll find lots of other fun kits also.